RV Prepper Issa Wayne here. Um, I picked up a, uh, a charge controller off eBay, uh, and this is how they, they shipped it to me. It is a Chinese uh, MPPT charge controller, um, and I, I thought they would put it in a, a better box than this. Uh, so I figured I'll open it up and, and let everybody see what I've got here. Uh, and then here in a few minutes, I will hook it up. Um, knife here. It is a uh, 20 amp. Uh, MPPT uh, charge controller. Uh, Max efficiency, this says 43%. Average efficiency is 20%. Uh, it comes uh, in the box. It's got the uh, manual here. Um, gives uh, about the different settings and, and setting it up and everything. Uh, and then the charge controller itself. Um, you know, I've seen these on, uh, I've read a lot of the reviews on these things, you know, they're not super, super big, uh, as you can tell, you know, my hand covers it up, um, but it's got the solar input, the battery, and, and the load, um, it's an eco-worthy, uh, it seems to be an all-metal, uh, case, uh, doesn't seem to be real flimsy or anything So I think what we'll do I see a lot of people you know when they get them the first thing they do is open them up uh, And they show what they're like on the inside. So if you want to see what it, it's like on the inside um, You know there's videos on YouTube that show that I, I'm not gonna Go taking mine apart um, But you know I wanted a, a charge controller. I just uh, and I wanted to be able to, uh, with a display, I wanted to monitor my watts coming in, uh, amps and, and everything else, and the charge state, you know, and, and this does it all. Um, I looked at some of the uh, others, uh, more expensive. I, I didn't want to spend the money on some of them others. Um, they had one that had with the remote display. Um, I didn't like it because it didn't show your input for your watts and stuff like that and that's I want to know what my uh, power coming in is watts and amps and volts and everything else so um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, look through the manual here and I'll kind of show y'all uh, we'll look through the manual together here pick up the stuff so it's not blowing away here uh, MPPT charge controller that's 12 volt 24 volt uh, 20 amp uh, got the table of contents here uh, main features it, it tells you about um, maximum uh, uh, voltage or yeah maximum uh, charge and discharge is 20 amp um, maximum solar input is 550 watts. Um, it's got a built-in clock. Uh, it's got the over voltage, under voltage, over current, over load, and short circuit protection. Um, and it's uh, tells you you know what to hook up. And, and this is one nice thing I, I like about this. It kind of gives you a schematic of the uh, inside of, of what it's like. Uh, that's nice to, to see. You, normally I don't see that in stuff. Uh, it's nice to see that. Um, and goes into the features and somehow page 7 is a little obscured. Um, but it, you know, it gives you the basics on operation and everything here uh, 
Judge basically, yeah, and see that even this page here is obscured. Um, but, uh, you know, everything in here, it, it's, you know, seems to be well laid out about what does what. Um, my only gripe is the way it was shipped. And, uh, like page 10 here, and I bet you page 7 are, you know, screwed up. So, I don't know what the Chinglish is there, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, well, well uh, let's get, uh, let's hook this up here and kind of see what it does here. Okay, uh, I got the three panels uh, hooked up. I've got it wired in uh, 12 volt uh, with... 10 gauge wire uh, battery voltage showing 12.7 okay my that's the same thing my meter showing 12.7 um, I don't have any Sun as you can tell right now at all there's no real light hitting the the panels uh, so it's it's not really doing anything the batteries are charged but we'll hit the uh, the MPP demo, and you know I'm getting a 0.30 amp at uh, 22. You know normally 22 with PWM, I'm getting 30. It's a 34 percent efficiency. Uh, you know I'm only bringing in like one watt at the moment. There, like I said, there's no sun. Um, yeah, I, sh I should be getting more, um, but these are older panels. Um, I think they're poly panels, I believe. Uh, I believe that's what they are, are poly panels. Um, but, you know, uh, it's something, uh, you know, I'm going to test them, make sure, um, uh, when, uh, the sun's out in the morning, I'll come out here and I'll check this and see how this is doing in the morning and I'll be able to uh, better tell you know uh, how good the panels are putting out and uh, then I'll also be able to see you know the difference in the uh, with the controller with the the efficiency so that's the uh, you know the eBay cheap charge controller um, so far I'm happy with it um, as you can tell, I've got, you know, my three, uh, three cables coming in. Once, uh, you know, if these panels put out decent, you know, I'm going to run the wire different. Uh, you know, I'm going to run uh, probably a 10 gauge into probably a 6 gauge coming into the charge controller. And, and then I'll run into the batteries. Uh, I'm not quite sure where I'm going to mount the charge controller yet. Uh, it all depends on where I'm putting the batteries, so uh, that's uh, yeah, that's where I'm looking at on that. Um, at the moment, you notice I got the the trailer here and everything uh, back here. Um, uh, the construction equipment is coming out. Uh, they've already had some guys out here uh, doing some stuff today. Um, and I plan on being out of here. Uh, uh, I'm going to be out this weekend. Uh, they've got uh, they're they're coming out this weekend, and that's when they're uh, doing everything out here. So this weekend, I'll definitely be out of here. Um, but you know, some of my other videos have been was delayed for uh, a couple weeks. Um, I know a lot of people's wondering, you know, what's been going on, if I've moved yet or not, and you know, I've been waiting on the uh, uh, voltage regulator for the generator. It should be here. Uh, I'm hoping tomorrow. Um, but the RV is pretty much uh, everything's done. It's ready to for me to uh, crank it up and be moving and uh, be out on the road then. So, questions, comments, please like and subscribe. You can also catch me on Facebook. That's 
facebook.com backslash rv prepper thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video